Yo, what's going on, 67 Letter Squad? It is Try Hard Thursday. We are starting off with Hebo. It's uh, also 7 in the morning, but I'm not naked this time, so fuck. I got a bunch of Halloween candy behind me. Um, I, I'll be honest. I bought this whole bag from Costco, and I was going to give it out to trick-or-treaters, and there was like there was like 10 people that came by the house. I thought for sure that this was going to be the first year I actually have trick-or-treaters because all the other houses I've lived in, <clears throat> excuse me, all the other houses that I've lived in, uh, they they didn't really have like neighborhoods, right? Like one of them was a townhouse uh, and there was like no kids around because it was a townhouse. There's all just like people getting on their feet or like older people. And then the other one I lived in, the other house is... It wasn't a neighborhood, but the thing is, they blocked off my entire street on Halloween and set up tables in front of the the like cul-de-sac that we were in. And the parents sat out there and just handed out <clears throat> alcohol to all the parents. So none of the kids actually like the kids were allowed to go through, but because they set up the tables blocking off the street, the kids just assumed they weren't allowed to go there. So we got like three people last year <laughs> um and then and then this year hello hello my friend how are you and then this year we live in like an actual like you know we bought our house and we live in a neighborhood and i'm not in a cul-de-sac and there's a bunch of kids around playing so i figured you know, we're gonna we're gonna see some we're gonna see some some treaters, some Spider Man dress ups and kids who want candy. And uh unfortunately I was wrong. And you wanna know why I was wrong? It's honestly a great reason. And I can't even blame the kids. Uh there is a very rich neighborhood that lives near me. Like uh it, I I'm not gonna say the name of the neighborhood, obviously, but there's a neighborhood in Georgia specifically known for being wealthy and all of the houses there are mansions. And obviously those people over there are going to be handing out full size candy bars. If you live close to that, you're, t you're making the drive on, on Halloween. You're making the drive there. You're not getting plebeian candy on Halloween. And I, you know, you can't, you can't be mad at that. You really can't. So, I have all this candy that I don't even really like. Like, it's all... I, if we got, like, a chocolate candy thing, then I would have eaten it all and probably put on all the weight that I lost. But <clears throat> we didn't. So now I just have, like... Like, I got Starburst. I got a bunch of Starburst. I got these like sweet tart rope things. I ate one. Terrible, by the way. Just terrible. It's like, uh, it's like, uh, I, I mean, how do I explain this to people that aren't in NA that can try it? Okay, basically, it's like a gummy bear on the outside, and then inside is like this, it's like sweet tarts, but they're like powdered, and it's pretty gross. And I like, <clears throat> I'm, a, I'm a sweet tart fan, right? Like the original, the hard candies, but not these ones. And let's see, what else we got? We got these, which are actually pretty bomb, I'll be honest. Um, Twizzlers. My mom likes Twizzlers, you know, <laughs> but I don't. Know, I, I don't. <clears throat> yeah, I got all this candy. I don't, I don't really know what to do with behind me. Hello. Right, cool stuff. Cool stuff. Another kill. Another survive. Oscar L. Crack is not having a fun day, that's for sure. 
Yeah, if you're wondering why I have that behind me. I also have a monster behind me. As you can see right there. Because I didn't sleep yesterday. I slept I, I slept last night though, which is great. But uh what's today? Today's Thursday. Tuesday night. Tuesday night I slept for two hours. I went to bed at like nine because I was feeling really tired. And then I woke up at eleven and I didn't sleep until last night. So I stayed up for like it wasn't quite twenty four hours, it was like twenty three, twenty two hours, something like that. It was 23 hours, because I went to bed at 10. Honk. I feel terrible for Oscar All Crack, by the way. Fighting a Nike as Hebo has got to be... Or fighting a Hebo as Nike... Like, you got to be... Mentally destroyed. This game isn't even five minutes in yet. He, he can't even physically surrender yet. But I'm sure he's mashing the button. I missed. Oh, all right. Let's do red buff. I really thought that ult, that ult would hit, but you know, you hit some, you lose some. You hit some, you miss some. You win some, you lose some. That's what it's. That's that's the saying. Ah. Delicious. Hola, Oscar. The only reason I said Ola is because he has L in his name. What is this? What what is this, Oscar? I mean, you surrender there for sure, right? Like, if you're Oscar, you're hitting your F6 button there, probably. Do I get this Phoenix now, though? I did not need to ult that. But I did anyways. All right, game one. I can't say anything else was expected. Not because I'm better than Oscar, but because I picked Hebo. This is Tryhard Thursday. I'll see you guys in game number two. Yo, what's up, boys? Welcome to game two. I'm playing the Morgan. Why am I playing the Morgan on Tryhard Thursday when I'm actually taking Tryhard Thursday seriously? Well, that's simply because I think the Morgan is actually good. Unironically, I'm, I don't mean that in a joking way. I think she's actually very, very good. Um, and if you build her in a way where you can just output an immense amount of damage very quickly, like a burst build, for instance, like, um, what is it called? Like, I don't know, maybe Bancroft's Typhons and then Stafford Mirrodin Rod and Polly, and then obviously one defensive item thrown in there because you can't play duel without defense. You can do a lot with her. I'm going to go a different route this game. I'm going to just see how max cooldown feels with Chronos Pendant into Breastplate, and I might go Bobble too. And uh, again, I'm not trolling with this. I know I have a nose tampon in, but that's that just happens sometimes. Um, I'm not trolling with this build. I just think that I think she's very good, and I think you can build her both bu burst and cooldown oriented. I just want to see which one I, I like more personally. I have a feeling I'll like the, the Bancrofts more, but I won't know that unless I try it, right? So let's try it out. I'm going to go the safe way around. I lied. I cleared out way faster than he did. Oh, he didn't even do a buff. 
Maybe he, maybe he was expecting me to invade. I don't want him to get both minis. There's no way, sir. You live this. Oh, my two didn't hit. What a what a perfectly timed jump. I'm not even mad at that. You know what? Well played, dude. I'm going to use my ult for this blue buff. I'm going to use my ult for this blue buff. Just because I, I want to make sure that I'm not getting double buffed on. If anyone is double buffing, it's me who actually started with the buff. Imagine if he started clearing wave and he double buffed before me. That would just be tragic. I did use my ult, so... I don't, it's not like I can kill him or anything, but I don't really mind. I got Chrono spending up soon. And also, I don't think I'm fighting right now. Like, I, I could fight. Don't get me wrong. I think I could win a fight. But... I think it's also to a point where, like... I have a cooldown item. And he has a ouchie ouchie uchu item. He's got the Griffin Wing. Gives him a ton of attack speed and a ton of power. Which obviously, when I have no lifesteal or, or no sustain in general. Um, it's not going to really work out great for me if I try to fight him all the time. Now that being said, I can poke from a distance. And maybe he'll get low enough for me to potentially all in. But... In terms of like actually fight him. I don't know. He's getting to a point where I could fight him maybe. I'm hit it. I hit pretty hard. If I can stop getting hit pretty hard. Ow. Now you can see why I said I, I don't want to fight him. He does so much damage. <sighs> Although I can just sit here and two him. I don't really have to auto attack. If I can proc my two, I can all in here. Oh, ow. There we go. Nice. Nice. Well played. Goodbye. Well played. I procced the two and just insta all in. I'm telling you, man, that cooldown, that cooldown is... It deceives people. It's hard to understand when, when to run away and when to all in. And it's especially hard when you have a three second cooldown that can proc itself. Four second cooldown, my bad. Perfect. I might be dead here. Nice. Nice. Thank goodness for Horn Shard. And the fact that I got some tier 2 defense. That tier 2 defense probably saved my Tukus there. Alright. Another blue buff for me. I right, thank you. You shouldn't have. Some poke on him. And proc that. Nice. If you're wondering what I mean when I say proc that, because I know a lot of gods or a lot of a lot of uh, viewers don't really play the Morgan, uh, I just mean that when you use your two, <clears throat> when you use your two on the Morgan, what actually happens is you apply a mark on them, and that mark you can see above their head. It's a little purple thing, and that mark, the next time you do damage to them with an ability, it has to be an ability. Um. And, uh, by the way, real quick, 
It does have to be an ability, but it can be their own ability. So if I use my two and I mark him, and then I alt into the on her, and then hit him with like on hers alt or on hers two or something, that will also proc my mark that I've placed on him. But nonetheless, you put the, the mark on them. It's called an omen. And then that omen will do basically a second tick of your two. So it doubles the damage of your two when you hit them with another ability. As you can see, the uh, that extra damage right there. You saw when I used my, my two on him, my my Morgan two, and then I ulted into Honor and I hit him with his two. There was a secondary number. I think it was 123 that showed up. That was me proccing my two off of him, even as Honor. So that's like the entirety of Morgan's kit. That's all you have to understand about her in order to be good with her. Is to utilize your passive. Well, it's not your passive. It's your it's your two, but to utilize the proc on your two, basically. Uh, I think I'm going to go beads. Uh, I'm probably just going to go Aegis. And then I'm waiting for Polly here. They want to go, so I might as well annoy them. I want to go for my blue, but red buff spawns very, very shortly. So I'm just going to go for blue. Or for red, I mean. Be back. Is he giving me it? Oh, wow. Okay. Unexpected. Ah. That's pretty good stuff. That's pretty good damage. Oh, well played. That knockback during my like alt transformation was actually insane. I can't be mad at that. He lived because of that that play. <clears throat> that being said, my alt ended up only being useful for Oh, I don't like this. Actually, maybe I do. Yeah, because he didn't get the stun off. Yeah. Nice. Um, let's just back. He's not dead long enough for me to do anything, and I don't have enough health to do bull demons, so... Why not? We'll just wait it out. So another cool thing about uh, the Morgan that you might not know is if you auto-attack like this, I'm going to show you here. So if I do this... And I get this big auto attack that does tick damage. The tick damage actually procs Polly, as you can see right there. So what you can do is, even if your Polly comes off of cooldown, and you can't auto them, if you got that tick damage initially, then you definitely can still do that, you know? I am so slow in this. Gosh darn. Thing. Nice. Not bad. All right, Bold Demon is down. I can go grab Rod, Max Cooldown, and Polly. Um, <clears throat> I still do think I would have liked my my other build more, my damage build. But don't get me wrong, I really love the cooldown that I'm having now. But 
Oh, I might be dead here. Holy shit. Ouch. Nice. You saw that polyproc I just hit on him? <clears throat> Very nice. There we go. So yeah, I think the Morgan can be used very very well if you can simply just utilize the uh the passive i guess of her two the omen proc and the poly from her three ow Damn, look at my damage, dude. So if you're wondering why I uh, I ulted so late there, even though my transformation was about to end, it's because if you're stuck in an animation or in a casting or channeled ability, uh, then your ult actually lasts longer than what it says it does. So, like, if you're in Apollo ult or Thanatos ult, or in this case, on her ult, while your ult is supposed to end as the Morgan, it will keep you in, in the ult for the duration of the thing. So, I figured the best thing I could do was... Um, hold on, let me just think here. I think I'll just go Bancroft for power, right? But... I was thinking the best thing I can do for DPS, because I'm a mage, I'm not going to do that much damage to Titan, uh, Am I is I could just stay in on her form as long as possible. Polyproc him. Uh, I do think he loses here, though. Yeah, I do too much damage as himself. I do too much damage as on her to the Titan, unfortunately for him. But that's going to be game. I hope you guys enjoyed game two, and I will see you guys in game number three. Yo, what's up, boys? Welcome to game number three. I'm playing a little Robin this game. Robin is a god that I've been very vocal about enjoying. I think he's a god that's very good in... Um, in duel and honestly kind of looked down on for some reason because not like he's looked down on when you play him because he's really strong most of the time when you look down on a like a player for picking that god right it's some sort of cringe god like um like freya there's no counterplay against that or you know, Arachne, and they do some weird shit. And, you know, Loki, obviously, can't forget him. Morgan Le Fay, that's cringy. But, like, people put Robin in the same kind of vein, I guess, as those other gods because of his passive, the shielding that you can get. and Because the shielding is percentage health-based. It's not like an HP amount of shield. It's a percent of your health stacking up three times. Giving you 21% max health and 9% movement speed. Um, and then you build him like kind of healthy in normal circumstances, not in duel. And uh, <clears throat> you basically have like a regenerating 300 HP shield. I could understand why people would call that cringe. But in duel, you can't do that. So I don't really understand the stigma associated with Robin in duel because that HP shield you're getting is it's not going to be big. I mean, 20% of like 2,200 is like still, it's not small, but like in conquest, you're getting like 3000 health, maybe more because you're playing him solo lane. Probably. I mean, you could play him jungle too, but if you play him jungle, then it's more like a dual build. I don't know, actually, come to think of it. I just know that people hate him solo lane because of his passive. 
Who knows, though? Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. By the way, if you're watching this, uh, make sure to subscribe if you're not, because, you know, I've been, I've been losing some, some subbies on the tubes. I've been, uh, I've been going down a very consistent two subscribers per day for the past week. So if you're watching this, help offset that, uh, that difference a little bit and, and help me out, you know, put a smile on my face. Or your face. Maybe it'll make you happy helping someone else out. I don't think I can out secure set. I'm not delusional. So I'm just going to get the minis and be on my day. I can absolutely fight you, though. Oh, man. All right. Oh, I can kill here. You got to run. Nice. Very, very nice. He was really greedy, man. Why was he so greedy for that? That wave. I mean, I guess in the hyper early game, you can't really miss a wave, but if it's either miss a wave or die, you're missing the wave 10 out of 10 times. I will get that. We'll go get our transcendence online now. I can't fight him under tower, so there's no sense in staying. And then I guess I could go. Nah, let's go wave. I could go XP camp here, but I don't want to lose XP to my to my Towie. I can absolutely obliterate you here. Yep. Yep. I was just waiting for the right time to alt. I was waiting for him to juke into his minion wave. Uh, so I could alt both him and the minion wave. So I could kill them all at the same time. Which is kind of greedy. He could have gotten away if he had teleport up. But I, I started that fight when his three went on cooldown. So I knew I had at least eight seconds before. You go i immune his damage and the tower shot so i get all that poke for free and now you're just dead actually and he's getting really greedy for these waves <clears throat> i understand the need for xp i get it but you can't go that hard man all right treasure chests are up let's see where they are oh nice convenient for me I think I can invade. The only issue I see with invading blue is if he ults me, which granted kind of a big issue, but I think I'll be okay. I got a maxed out shield right now. Oh, man. Oh. I think you're dead here. Nice. Oh, God. He tried to teleport over the wall, but he didn't have a minion over the wall. I think he tried. I thought he... I think he thought his minion was there, but it was just on this side of the wall. And so he teleported, like... Basically on top of himself and just handed me a kill. I definitely cannot feel good. I mean, Robin is a bully. Robin is kind of like Chalk. Robin, he's kind of like Chalk, not really in the sense that he heals a bunch, but he does if you go Soul Leader. But um, more in the sense that, ouch. Big slow. Oh my God, that slow actually made me live. He's going to TP in on me here. Just how greedy can I be? Let's find out. Your 
Nice. Nice. It was all about timing the two. I live as long as I time the two. And then my shield plus the healing for my three gives me the free red buff. And then I back finally. He's going solar. I'm just going to go beat stick. I'll go beat stick in a breastplate here. I think beat stick, I mean, very obvious reasons. He has a crazy amount of healing in his alt. And he's going soul eater, so the beat stick's just gonna be a double edged sword against him. And then the defense. Obviously, I want the cooldown. But on top of that, I like to not get one hit. Uh I can I can kill him under tower probably. He's level nine, no alt, no aegis. Yeah. Level nine, no alt, no aegis. Some of you guys might be wondering, by the way, how I know when I can get these kills and stuff. Because I I do them, like, seemingly I dive at random times. Right? But um, it's just about knowing what cooldowns your opponent has, what cooldowns you have, and what utilization you have in your kit versus their kit. I know my kit gives me a shield and movement speed, as well as healing from my three and an iframe so i have a lot of like utilization i can do in my kit whereas his kit all of his utilization is a slight percent of damage mitigation with his three and then a a, a dash basically i mean a teleport is probably a better description of it than a dash That's all the utilization he has. So if you just like count up that difference, it's it's pretty dramatic. He's got to make a lot of good plays in order to win. And I've already countered him in my build. You know, I've already countered his, his soul leader and his alt with my beat stick. I've finished stacking transcendence. So I just have more there. And instead of going wing shard to give me attack speed, I have the horn shard to give me all the cooldown I could ever need. You're dead. I don't even need to use my alt. I'll grab this. Um, I guess I, I can't really hit Titan. There's no point in me being here. We'll grab that. We'll go serrated. I'll buy a 500 pot to help me end. I'm going to keep my horn shard because it's coming off cooldown right now. And I think it can be utilized to give me either a kill or potentially just win the game off of it. Serrated is like my second best item in Smite history, by the way. The stats it gives you for the price it is, is insane. Everybody that can buy Serrated should buy Serrated. Right, you're going to want to TP. You're going to go that way. Go. Nice. Does this hit everything? No. Worth a shot. Wait for the minions to go in so I don't take anything. Because he will be alive. I don't want to reset the Titan's health at all, so I'm just staying, staying back. I missed. I still got some time on Phoenix. He's misplaying really heavy. Because he's using his minions whenever they spawn. Which might sound counterintuitive. But as set... I mean, you can't, you can't do anything here, unfortunately. As set, what you want to do is you want to keep one minion up, like in your arsenal that you can use to get away at every every moment in time. Because if you use your, your minions like he's using them to, to like damage, to skewer, if you want two minions to skewer then you need you need to guarantee you're going to win the fight if you if you place both minions down basically eek gg again <laughs> all right i'll see you guys next game boys let's go boys we got someone higher mmr we got a game on our hands i'm gonna play the anubis i'm gonna play the anubis 
He's going to play the Mammon? Uh, I don't... I've never played this matchup. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to go. He's got... He's a box name. He's a box namer. He has higher MMR. He's a box namer. And he's rank one Mammon. How do I feel about this? I uh, honestly don't know. <laughs> if I alt, he goes inside me, doesn't he? Huh. Yeah, that definitely wouldn't feel good, would it? I'm starting my two, by the way, because uh, Mom's early game is fucking ridiculous. And I don't want to get slapped up. If I alt, he jumps inside me, I can't kill him. So I need to get really low HP. Let him dash inside of me. Aegis the dash. And then alt afterwards and pray lifesteal works. Oh god. This matchup sounds terrifying. I mean, maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. Surely it's fine. I'm starting red. I don't know if I should. But I'm scared he's going to invade me if I don't. And I don't think he has enough time to invade if I do this. I missed. Alright. I mean, you just took a lot of damage. Okay, I am taking a lot of damage. Dead. Okay. Uh, I don't know how he's canceling. I don't know how he canceled this one so fast. I've never seen that before. I. It seems like a glitch. It seems like he's glitch abusing. I'm dead. I'm literally dead here. The way he's using his one seems like a bug. I just wanted to stop his back. Just stop his back. I don't have finished Bancrofts yet. I am maxing my three because I don't think my one's going to be that useful against him. All right, let's go get Bancrofts. What does he have? He has Bancrofts also. Fair play, I guess. Um, really not sure what to do here. Hanging out and back, and I guess doing the huge. Doing the use when you're out pressured. That's really good damage, actually. I don't know if I'm scared here at all. Oh. Okay. okay. Wow. Wow. I don't know, man. I guess I just have to wait till hyper late game. I literally just need AFK. That's all I can do here. Let him farm. I'm going to go do his blue. Or not. Okay. 
Jesus Christ. Um, there's nothing up quite yet, but my, he is probably waiting at my blue. Literally sitting there, yeah. Okay. Unlucky. Jeez, man. He's just back. He's, he's literally back. He just knows I can't kill him, I guess. Bro. Did his one... His one stun did 400? I beads that. Oh my god. Did 400? Yo, that god's crazy. What? I guess if I don't ban mom and I have to play her. I don't think I can win this game. That's insane. Um, I guess next item will be, I mean, I could go divine like he is. God, I really do no damage. Jesus Christ, dude, dude, what in the world is going on here? I played that perfect, man. I hit everything. I waited him out. I hit everything I could. And then he just outbursted Anubis ult. And he's full HP, by the way. Pretty sure I still die here, right? Uh, no alt, maybe I don't. Damn. I don't think I've gotten a buff all game. Other than the first red buff. This is pretty stinkerton, dude. So he's going to have Divine. And he's going... I guess probably Tablet. Gonna go Typhons here.
these. I'm going to go Aegis as well. The only thing that's a positive here that I can think of is the fact that he can't really take objectives quick. And I do a lot of damage now that I have Typhons. Yeah, I can't kill him. I'm pretty down bad. When does my blue spawn? I mean, Polly, really. Polly is surprising. He just wants to backdoor my tower, huh? He's going to right there. I think if a minion walks in, it's probably screwed. My tower is. I missed. Okay. I don't really care about that damage. I want my blue buff here. It's going to meet me over here, but maybe I can do it in time. Beads. I'm gonna chase him down. I might be able to get red buff as well. Because he is not respecting my damage. Like, I know he does a lot of damage, but I also do a lot of damage. I, I have my Typhons now. I'm pumping. Um, I should get a divine probably because he is go he has double lifesteal right now with Polly and, and Bancrofts. Your middle tower is under attack. Here's the back door with the Polly. Your middle tower has been destroyed. He just wants to open up Bull Demon that bad. I don't really understand it to be honest. But I don't really need to. You stun me now, probably. No. Nice. I should be able to take tower here, which is amazing. Uh, maybe I can't take tower, actually. I'll be able to, thanks to the life steal from the minion wave coming in. And then I'll run here so I don't get targeted. I'll back. And I'll build Mirrodin, I think. My limitless power requires a focus. I think Mirrodin, because I only have 10% cooldown right now. That'll give me 20%. Blue buff will bring me to 30. And I do need cooldown. Don't get it twisted. Dude, I swear to God, every Mammon player plays the exact same. They just like circling. Okay. 
think I'm comfortable with that, right? He back? He did back. Um, just grab blue buff. Oh, he didn't do red. Wow, okay. That sucks for me. But honestly, him having red, I feel like doesn't matter that much. Damn, man. All right. I guess GG. I guess GG. I don't know. He literally just ran at me. He just W keyed me and I, and I couldn't do anything. Um, no, I don't lose here. Cause you can't, you can't use mom and passive against Titan or bull demon. Which is probably why he never went to Bull Demon. Come to think of it. Um, I don't have beads up. I just lose, huh? No idea where he is. I think I'm gonna full upgrade my beads actually. I think cooldown might be mandatory. And my last item is gonna be Rod. He's going double defense, but I'm gonna go more damage. Um yeah. he does a blink up. I think he can backdoor probably because he, he doesn't get his damage from his passive like I said so I think backdooring's out the window he does get red buff which sucks but that is what it is man that is what it is By what mechanism does this power arise? all right I have max cooldown now because I have 20% in my build and then I have 20% in my buffs with uh, red pot and blue buff. I, I really actually don't know how that stun missed. If he goes to bull demon, so be it. I'm not going to risk my game running over there. So be it. Surprised he's even going for wave right now, to be honest. Peace out, brother. Peace out. All right, Phoenix died, but uh, that's a huge kill for me. It gives me enough gold to basically finish everything. 
I'm gonna re-get the blue buff. Hopefully, I did just hear a spawn, so I can. Goodness. And then I want to get this wave as well. So just a ton of farm for me. Grab that. We'll upgrade this all the way up. And I'll re-get a 500 pot because I only got a minute left on it. Um, and I don't have beads this time. I did beads during my one, which is the whole reason I got the kill. Uh, but he used his beads as well. He does still have blink, which is terrifying. But... I don't know. Blink is scary as shit. I gotta... I'm not gonna lie to you. I do have Aegis that might get me to my, my fountain. But I do have to like, like, be careful. I really can't step up. All right, that did hit. Not bad. He's doing my blue buff. Or just healing. Okay. Fine, I'm just gonna run. You're dead. He went really greedy. He went really greedy trying to make that play. His red should be up, actually. That's amazing for me. And the best thing about that is I use no relics. I got to kill and use no relics for it. Um, My alt will be up. I think I'm going to try to rat him. Oh, I think he just lost. He missed his dash. He missed his dash, and that's GG. He missed his dash, and that's GG. Mr. Boxman holds an L. Bro, Mommin does so much damage. I, I really think maybe I just don't ever fight Mommin early game at all. Like, early and mid game. Late game, I have some fighting chances because I feel like her damage doesn't scale as hard because um, it's tick damage. So maybe it doesn't, it, it doesn't like affect me as much. I do still think, by the way, how fast he's canceling his one has to be some sort of a bug. Because when I do that in jungle practice, I, I can't get it to, I can't get it to cancel that fast. Like, I can't get one tick. It always uses... I can't get five points out of my pot to use. I can only ever get ten. But I don't know. Maybe he just does it better than me. Uh, but yeah. That's game. That was a really good game to end it on. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, guys. Peace.